Hello, my name is Danielle. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I make videos about mental health, spirituality, everything else. This is a process with me, a little chat, car chat. This is my studio We're at the beach. Today's discussion is about, I'm trying my best not to internalize my experiences. It's fucking hard. Honestly, it's fucking hard because if you're not new here, you know that I broke up with my ex like a second ago, 20 days ago. I don't know what day it is. Anyways, end of May. And so I've been having like like realizations of things, you know, after you're out of a situation, then you start to see it. And a part of me is like, oh my God, internalizing, of course, and, and coming to conclusions as to why they didn't do the simple thing I asked them to do. And it's, it's saying like, I'm unworthy. Yo, it's always the fucking unworthiness wounds. Oh my God. Oh my God. But we're back here. And so I'm, I'm just processing with you. To this, I say to myself that no, me being unworthy would have been me staying, right? Me leaving is knowing my worth. The message is people meet you where they, they can meet you. They meet you where they can meet you, right? They don't necessarily meet you where you deserve to be met. Okay? At myself. This is one of the most challenging things as a human being is <laughs> trying not to internalize the fucking shit you've been through. <laughs> Spirit asked you to come through and tell me, give me advice on how to not internalize things. The High Priest says, powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. The thing that I'm getting right now is, baby girl, you fucking know it's not about you. You fucking know it's not about you. Meaning, it was, it was their ex experience. People's chosen expression, whether they want to do something or don't, yo, that's entirely on them entirely on them justice fight for justice and equality rulings made in your favor don't give up don't ever fucking give up on yourself don't ever fucking give up on yourself i've been in the last i guess ever since no my whole life <laughs> i don't know the time frame is what i'm just trying to say is that i have been feeling seeing like seeing my shadow so clearly my the shadow aspect of myself is like I'm not worthy of what I desire for so many different reasons. What I've done in the past, not having a good relationship example to base it off of, meaning it's not possible what I want, X, Y, Z. Shadow aspects, shadow aspects. Two of Michael, it'll all be better if you make it, just make a decision over analyzing a problem. That feels like it's not your job to figure it out. It's not your job to figure it out. And this is something I've been reminding myself when I get really anxious and I start thinking about all of these fucking possibilities, X, Y, Z, everything. What does it mean? What about me? Blah, 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 blah. I picture a bubble around me and I say to myself, bubble, bubble, meaning Danielle, I fucking exist in my aura field. This is me. This is my energy. This is what I do. This is what I am in here right now, here, present, everything outside that's not mine that's not mine so there's this inner warrior fucking coming out baby she's coming out she's coming out to play she really is coming out to play and she's like my it's my divine masculine that's what it is and he's like like in me he's like i got you he's what got me out of that relationship he's what got me out of the toxicity eight of ariel this is about working really diligently practice makes perfect take pride in your excellent work that's like be proud of yourself for realizing and getting out. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome and you don't need to go through this alone. Two fives. This is like change energy. This is like you did the right thing leaving. Fox. We know that. <laughs> we know that. We do. And you don't need to do this alone. Like stop fucking trying to do everything alone. Okay. At me next time. At me next time. You have invested wisely. Have patience. Okay. One message, Spirit, just to close this off. How do you feel about me? I don't fucking know. Everything happens for a reason. Fell out again. That's the thing. This this situation has taught me that I can stand up for myself and I can do the damn fucking hard things. That I don't need to settle. That I can step back into my Empress vibes. Voibs. I no longer will be efforting. PSA. I'm no longer efforting. Okay, universe? If you want to give me something... I'm right here. I will not be moving. I am relaxing. I am doing me. I'm focusing on myself. I am loving myself. I've been loving on myself so deeply. You guys know about this. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've been loving on me. 
So now the the bar is so fucking high. So like, if you come and come correct, you know what I'm saying? If you get anything out of this message, it's raise your fucking standards. Raise your fucking standards. Oh boy. So when I, when I see myself internalizing experiences, coming, jumping to conclusions of, oh, what this means about me. Remember, I remind myself, bubble. I'm in the bubble. Not my job to fucking analyze everything. Nope. It's my job to keep myself calm. That's it. To be calm, to be in my feminine, and to attract what's for me. I'm sitting pretty in my destiny. That's it. No catching me outside. No, nothing of that. Like, I'm sitting pretty in my peace, in my destiny. That's where I'm going to be. Me and spirit, we like this. We chilling. I'm good. And I will only believe something about myself if, if fucking it comes from the divine. <laughs> if it comes from the divine. Okay? Not even my own fucking rude ass thoughts, alright? I know me. I love me. This is a beautiful process with me. Okay. I will see you so soon. I love you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, Instagram. There's plenty more where this came from. Bye.